So in this chapter we will learn more about intent and intent bus. So until now, intents are described as the intention to trigger another application. But in fact, intents allow us to do more than that. And with intents we can launch any kind of component we want inside of Android. So in Android there are two kinds of components. The first one is activities, which have a GUI, and the second one is services, background task, and so on. Okay, and with intent, we can at any moment trigger such a component. So the goal of the intent is to ease the communication between the various components and to provide facilities to communicate between apps. So the question we can ask is, how these intents are managed by the system. There are two kinds of notions we have to understand. The first one is that the intent navigates through the intent bus. So there is a dedicated bus to help the communication uh, through the intents. And the second thing we have to understand is the intent filter. The intent filter is a filter that any activity can plug in in order to filter the intent received. So let's first have a look to the structure of an intent. So an intent is composed of two parts. The first one is the action and the second one is the data. <coughs> and we can observe that the action can be action view for instance if we want to ask some information about seeing something and the something will be the data uh, provided. So here content, contact, people one, display the information about the, f the people with ID one. And we can also ask for triggering some dial and to do that we just plug the action, action dial and then we fill the data with the correct values. Okay, so this is the basic of an intent, but an intent can also have extra parameters. Category, type, component, and extra. Category is the extra information for the action. Some action needs more than just one specific tag. So this is in category that we will have these details. The type is the meme type of the data we want to observe, get, or something like that. So you have to plug the meme type inside of this. Component is the name of the component which is targeted. Sometimes you can just ask for composing some, numer some numero and perform a phone call. Otherwise, you may specify the name of the class you want to trigger. And finally, extra, which is a bundle that can embed as many information as you want in order to give some information to the component that will receive the intent. So, as I just said earlier, there are two kinds of intent. The first one is explicit one, the one we have seen uh, so far, and we can observe that to do that, we just specify the exact name of the uh, class we want to, to trigger. For instance, here I build my intent with new intent, the context, and my class dot class. So I specify the name of the class I want to trigger. When we want to launch some PDF viewer, we, don't not, we do not know the name of the class which handles this PDF viewer actions. So to do that, we build an intent and this intent is filled with one of the, the actions I mentioned earlier. Here, for instance, it's, it's action dial. So we want to trigger some phone call. And we had some extra information through a new array, which is tell and then the, the phone number. And then we can start the activity. And the intent will be propagated into the system to look for an application that can reply to the action dial intent. So let's have a, a small example. 
we have the best of intents at the bottom side and some intents circulate inside of this, this bus. We can observe that this intent is blue, so when navigating through the bus, when an intent filter blue is detected, the intent is propagated inside of the application which has declared this intent filter. Okay? So now we have a green intent that navigates. So it's not possible for the first app, but it's possible for the second app since it has declared a green intent filter. So the intent will be sent to this application. So now let's suppose that we have a green, uh, a red intent. The intent have a choice to make. Will this intent will be delivered to app 3 or app 4? The system cannot know what is the best solution, so he asks the user, do you want to open this app, this, uh, this file with this application or this one? Okay, so the goal of the intent filter is to filter the intents that will be received by an application. And if many applications declare the same intent filter, for instance, I can read a PDF, the user must choose which application to use to, or to open PDF. Okay? So, let's build a fake PDF viewer. Here, we can just declare an intent filter. And in this intent filter, I just say, I am able to perform the action view, browsable, and for PDF. Okay? So I put this into my activity, and this is it. I have built a fake PDF viewer. Okay? So that's why Android may have some problem with uh, privacy and so on, because it's really easy to build fake applications, and then we just have to grab the intent, relaunch it inside of the system to look for another real PDF viewer, and this is it. So when we launch an intent, we may don't care about the, the result activity, but sometimes the activity will return something. For instance, the mail has correctly been sent, or the picture has been taken, or something like that. Okay, so in this particular case, we want to have an acknowledgement that everything is okay. So there is the possibility when the user clicks the back button to grab the information from the activity that has been launched from a previous uh, intent, and this is done inside of the method on activity result. So to sum up, there are two notions that you must uh, understand correctly. The first one is the intent bus. The intent bus will vehiculate a lot of intents and these intents can be then filtered by the applications in order to only focus on the relevant ones. Okay? You also have uh, to understand that all the filters that you declare inside of your activity will will trigger a lot of intents. So it means that if you declare a lot of filter, you will have a lot of events to treat. So this may slow down your activity. So declare intent filter as small as possible and be nice with the intent base.